churches, like so you know there's Ephesus and Smyrna and Pergamum and Thyatira and Sardis and Philadelphia and Laodicea. Like those are the, the churches and like as we make disciples, we come across all of these types of people. And so like one of them is, um, well, uh, um, the church in, um, what can I think, Ephesus, you know, you've lost your first love. You know, like, you do a lot of good things, but you've forgotten the joy of your salvation. Yeah. And so, like, they're strong in the out, maybe. But, like, we got to help them with the up, right? And then, you know, there's two of them that are just, and they're, like, using their freedom as a license for immorality and idol idolatry. Mm -hmm. And so, like, we're calling them back to, hey, Jesus is Lord of that and that. And, like, you've got to let it go. Um, what was the one? Sardis. It was, like, wake up your sleep. You know, like how many times do we see that? Like churches, like what are we doing? We were dead, we were asleep. You know, and like just going through the motions, and it's like wake up. Um, but then you come to the church in Philadelphia, because I'm like, Lord, which one are we? As brown to green, you know, like this this ecclesia, this like we are the body of Christ, the church, right? So like, which one are we in this? And I read it, and I'm like, after last night. You know, and just our hearts overflowing with brotherly love for each other. Like, you can just, so good. When I'm reading it, and I'm like, this is it. But it says, um, in chapter 3, it says, To the angel of the church in Philadelphia write, These are the words of him who is holy and true, who holds the key of David. What he opens, no one can shut, and what he shuts, no one can open. I know your deeds. See, I have placed before you an open door that no one can shut. <laughs> this got me. I know that you have little strength, yet you have kept my word and you've not denied my name. I will make those who are of the synagogue of Satan, who claim to be Jews, though they are not, but are liars, I will make them come and fall down at your feet and acknowledge that I have loved you. Since you have kept my command to endure patiently, I will also keep you from the hour of trial that is going to come upon the whole world, to test those who live on the earth. I'm coming soon. Hold on to what you have so that no one will take your crown. I love this too because we talk about those pillars of faith being built in us. Him who overcomes, I will make a pillar in the temple of my God. Never again will he leave it. I will write on him the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, the new Jerusalem which is coming down out of heaven from my God. And I will also write on him my new name. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. And I was like, man, that's what we want. That's what we want to be. Yeah. Like, that's what we're going for. And the Lord's opened it, and nobody can shut it. Amen. 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 Amen.